Hey Rangers, today we're going to be talking about Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel Episode 4, Making Waves. And first off, I watched this in HD and I was actually generally really impressed with it all. And I really like the style of episode and kind of wish they would do more of this. Or I'm hoping there's going to be more of these sorts of episodes much later on in the series. So let's jump in and start the review. We open up on the park and there is an old sea captain. And he is turning around saying like, hey, come and uh, enter this competition. Uh, come catch Bruiser. And everyone's like, okay, I'm kind of interested. Um, and then I love Victor's face in this one. He's just... It's like, no, 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 Like, he, he doesn't really care. He's just listening. And so he's like, if you catch the biggest fish or if you catch Bruiser, then you will get this trophy. And um, and Victor just goes, do you know what? I want that. He's like, oh, my 50th one. <laughs> I kind of need that. I kind of need it because it'll be my 50th trophy. And Monty's like, yeah, I'll help you, Victor. And I'm like, oh, oh, Why? <laughs> Why do you have to be like this? The Rangers meet up with Haley's dad and he says that he's got this undersea drone that can actually like scan the bottom of the ocean. It can find Bruiser. It can find all these like things going on. And the Rangers are like, oh hell yeah, this is really cool. And Haley's dad is really focused on picking up Bruiser the trophy just to prove to everybody. He also explains that he's got a net inbuilt into the drone. So if it does catch anything, it won't harm anyone. And everyone's like, oh hell yeah, this is really cool. And the submarine is in the water and it fires its net it catches something, it catches a machine, um, which I thought originally was part of the Zord that they were gonna have for this episode, um, but it's not. And this actually damages the drone and they retrieve it. And this is when Sarah's mom comes in and she's like, hey, I'm gonna come help fix that sub because that's broken. And Haley's dad's like, oh, hello. Hello there. They start flirting and everyone, like the guy's like, oh yeah, it's fine. But Sarah and Haley. They don't like it. They're like, oh, that's that's really cringy. I don't know why. We come now back to the ship and Madame Odious is about to destroy Summer Cove with a tsunami machine that Doomwave has created. As she pushes the button, it doesn't work. That's because the sub has damaged the actual device. So Doomwave's like, oh, I've got to go fix it. We can now come to the rangers at the school and they're taking the submarine into the kind of workshop. They're going to fix it. Haley's dad is going to actually repair it where Sarah's mum is actually going to like download the data, make the coding, get it all programming, all of its rights so it can actually go back out. And this is when they, they start flirting with each other. And it's really nice to kind of see it. All the guys are like, yeah, that's cool. You know, they're kind of happy that love is now blooming. But Sarah and Haley absolutely can't stand it. The guys find out that in the net is some metal parts that they don't recognize. So they decide that they're going to put it all back together. And that's their main focus for a while. This is when the girls go off and they start discussing. They start saying, hey, guess what? I really like your, your mama. I really like your dad. But I don't think they'll be really good together. When they kind of look back at the parents, they're kind of really getting along. And at this point, you see... Haley's dad turned around and said, the machine's gonna take a while to download all the data. Let's go for a picnic. And this is when Sarah and Haley are like, no, 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 this can't happen. I know, let's sabotage this date. You've got Haley going off to her dad saying, do you know that Sarah's mom really likes weird and spicy food? And he's like, oh, okay, well, I'm gonna get some like stuff from that really exotic store. And Sarah goes to her mom, oh, you know, Haley's dad really likes rides and stuff. And she's like, oh, okay, you know, that's really cool. So obviously the girls are now putting the ideas into the parents' head to actually ruin this. We come to the date and the girls are hiding away. Haley's dad picks up one of these like spiced crickets and actually feeds it to Sarah's mum. And she eats it and she's like, oh, what's that? And he's like, oh, it's like fried cricket. I don't know why all of a sudden Nickelodeon decides to make this gag longer. Sarah's mum actually moves her head and spits out. And rather, it's a... <laughs> And you kind of think, is that really meant, is it the sound? Is that meant to make the kids laugh? The girl's are like, yes, that's what part one. And then we switch to another part of the date where Sarah's mum pushes Haley's dad onto this kind of like little roundabout and spins him round and round and round. And he doesn't like this. Uh, he gets motion sickness quite easily. So when he's getting off, he's like, whoa. And Sarah's mum's like, I thought you kind of liked this. He's like, no, and goes off and throws up. The girls are really excited. They're like, yeah, you know, we've sabotaged this. They're not getting together. Whoa, yeah. Awesome. 
And then they say, we're gonna go look after our parents. We now come to the guys and they've finished putting the metal pieces together and it's the Galaxy Warriors logo. They say that they've got to quickly get to the beach, they've got to try and find the monster and they all rush off. We now come to the beach and the rangers are actually looking over from behind some rocks. And this really reminded me very similar to the old school style of Mighty Morphing where the bad guys would be like, yeah, no one's about, we're gonna talk about our plans, we're gonna put them together, boom, 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 there you go. With this, Doomwave is saying that the machine will almost be fixed and they'll create a tsunami. And this is when the rangers all come out and go, do you know what? You're not gonna happen and they morph. And the fight scene on the beach was actually really good. I really like the angles. Do we see some beautiful uh, slow motion kicks? We see some of the basher bots being defeated and Doomwave just grabs his machine and he dives into the water and the rangers can't follow him. We have our lovable duo, the people that we actually come to watch the series for, the amazing Victor and Monty are now on the beach and Monty shows Victor his super duper hooky wookie and says that this is gonna get a uh, basher and then what's gonna happen is they're gonna win the competition and Victor's like, what? That's not gonna do anything. One thing is like Victor also turns around and goes, well guess what? If you win that, I'll polish your trophy. <laughs> I was very weird. Um, I don't know, maybe Monty really likes polishing all the trophies. I don't know. But still, it's kind of a very weird thing that you would say to your friend. And he kind of mocks Monty. And Monty's like, well, just try it. He puts it on and he casts the line into the sea. And then suddenly Victor gets like pulled off and gets dragged. And I'm like, good. You deserve it, Victor. You deserve it. And he's like, Monty, help. And he's just being dragged. If I was Monty, I'd be like... Oh, don't mock my stuff then. We now come back to the school and Mick is throwing the drone away. The rangers come in and Hedy runs in and goes like, my dad's drone, what are you doing? And Mick's like, well, your dad rang early and didn't really want it, so I'm just throwing it away. It can't be fixed, you know, there's only two people that could do it. And the rangers are like, oh no, what are we gonna do? Mick then turns around and goes, actually, I've got an idea. You guys go here, you guys go there. And then when Sarah and Haley are like, no, 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 that won't work. Mick comes back and says, you did this to your parents. Would you like this to happen to you guys? And they're all like, no, no, no. Um, but then they're wondering how are they gonna get them together? How are they gonna get them to work together? You know, there's only one set of people that can do it. Preston brings up and you know who they're gonna do? The Power Rangers. The parents arrive and they're wondering what's going on. Like, why did you call me? You know, I don't think you wanna see me anymore. And the Rangers come out of nowhere and they're saying like, hey, you know, we need your help. Your expertise is the only thing that we need right now. You guys are the only ones uh, that can do it. And Sarah puts on like a really deep voice. And I'm kind of thinking, they're not gonna recognize your voice. All the others are absolutely fine. So this is when Haley's and Sarah's parents actually start working together. They want to go back. They start thinking about all the good stuff. They ask how they're doing after the cricket incident, the motion sickness, and they start kind of liking each other and a little bit of flirting carries on. When the drone has been repaired, the rangers take it down to the beach to say, look, you know, we need to find this monster really quickly and his machine. And so they all they take the drone to the beach. When the rangers get to the beach, they are attacked by Doomwave and a load of basher bots. And there's a lot more fighting. Doomwave attacks attacks Kelvin and he attacks Preston because they still have the sub. At this point, this is when like all the other rangers kind of like take on Doomwave and the rangers put the sub in the water. The sub actually starts going and we have the rangers like controlling it with the remote control, but Doomwave kind of like knocks it out of their hand and it kind of goes in the water and the rangers are like, no, what are we gonna do? Sarah picks up the remote control. They find the actual tsunami machine and they fire the net. It kind of like brings it to shore. And this is when Levi and Brody take down Doomwave by using like a special attack, which is Sentai footage. Um, at the very end, Levi goes like, I'm taking a selfie and I'm kind of like, it doesn't feel like this is you. So obviously they had to say that in the footage. Sarah and Haley destroy the machine, which then leads Cosmo, I think. Uh, he decides to like gigantify the monster and boom, Doomwave is giant size. The Rangers now get a new ninja star. This is for the Zord. And when Mick throws it, it attaches itself to the sub, makes it giant. And this creates the sub surfer Zord. And I have to admit, I kind of really like the camera angles that they did. Levi then says, hey, I'm gonna ride this. And he jumps on and he kind of like switches across. He kind of dodges Doomwave's attacks. I really like the camera angles in this. As soon as that happens, the other the Rangers call on the Megazord and they combine later on with the Sub Surfer Zord to make the Sub Surfer Megazord. We get a little bit of a fight and the Rangers take down Doomwave. We get kind of a final talk with Sarah and Haley talking to the parents saying, 
ah, I'm really sorry what happened. You know, it was us. The parents were like, yeah, we kind of figured this out. You know, we're not stupid. We fit. You know, we saw you or they did something. And they're saying like, yeah, you're fine to date whoever you want. And they're like, yay. We now come to the final scene with the old fisherman or the pirate because he sounds like a pirate. And he turns around and says like, oh, we have a winner. Oh, wait a minute. He goes, that's not Bruiser. And the, uh, Victor's like, yes, it is. It, it's Bruiser. I caught it. Here's my trophy. And he's like, no, I can see the seams in this. This isn't. So we now find out that it's Monty in a fish suit. Victor doesn't get his trophy and Monty runs off with little parts of the fish on him. Um, and that's that's about it. Uh, that, that's it. Oh well. So Rangers, there is the episode. It, this one was really shot well. I love the camera angles. Um, when you watch it in HD, it actually is a lot more pleasing to the eyes rather than kind of standard. You could see more texture on the suits. You can see the shine. You can see the little bits that were kind of flaking off. But still, I really enjoyed this episode. And I probably have said it that you know, previously I've had some really good episodes, but so far this one really stands out of the entire season. And I kind of really, really like it. Um, I would probably give this maybe a eight out of 10. Uh, Monty and Victor weren't really annoying as they normally are. But apart from that, it was a solid episode. It did what it said on the tin. And to be honest, I'm looking forward to more episodes of Super Ninja Steel now. So Rangers, what are your thoughts? Did you like this episode? Did you not? Would you watch it again? What was your favorite part of the episode? Let me know down below in the comments. If you've liked this video, like, favor, and hopefully consider subscribing. If you want to check out all the other videos on the channel, you can here. And if you want to help out the channel on Patreon, link is in the description down below. And as always, Rangers, thanks for watching and I'll see you in a bit.